these things happen. <laughs> uh, but now we have uh, Elijahman versus Alan Dis coming up here, and of course, on winner semis. We should probably swap the window. Oh, that is. I'm so sorry. But hey, at least you guys get to see the Metaview ad. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. support Metaview, man. They help support us. And honestly, all together, you know what? Oh. Man, okay. now, see, bro, you, you had me take off the ad. I'm going to put the ad back in. So anyways, well, these guys just keep jumping. Anyways, make sure you guys support uh, MetaView. Honestly, look, I'm going to be real with you. There's a lot of apps out there that do Wait. a lot of different things. Some of these apps, they're free, and MetaView is one of them, man. So why not get you an app that helps you keep up what? with all the highlights from not just MSM, but also some of your favorite highlights for... Almost a lot of Smash tournaments. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I swear to God, I thought Elijah Min was a Shulk main. I did not realize he was going to play me, Gunner. My apologies. <laughs> oh, that's fine, man. I, I could have looked on... I took your war for it, man. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Was he, playing, was he playing Shulk at all tonight? Am I just, like, losing my mind? Hold on. Maybe he was. Maybe he is doing, like, a sub-goal. All me's. All music and anyway, he was playing Shulk. He, he was. Maybe he's. He, this is actually a pretty solid matchup for. I actually know this from what Nico told me, like a little bit back in offline. This is actually a rough one for Shulk. Okay. It's doable, but like, there are some scenarios in this matchup that like Shulk has to be specifically in. Like not I. Have, oh God, what's the name of the art? Um, Buster, in order to hit, yeah. hit Snake out of his like, cipher and and a few other things where Shulk wins, but Snake accelerates. Nico was not a fan of this matchup altogether. There's a few wins he had on MVD, but like, it, it, it's been a rough one for sure. This is one that I know that can be difficult for Shulk. So, and none, nonetheless, uh, we will see Elijah Min so far here. Oh, so Elijah Min's uh, me options are so far looks like the you know, the, the Samus style side beam missile, the firecracker, and then the healing orb to like take um, all the explosive fire damage from Snake's projectiles and actually heal himself. So that's that's interesting. Um, I've actually been seeing a lot of really excellent Mead Gunner gameplay. There's uh, uh, one Mead Gunner specialist from Mexico by the name of Pineda, who has this really fluid style of playing the character that makes it actually really captivating to watch. But I think Elijah Min is all business, all defensive, all zoning with this iteration. Yeah. There's also <laughs> Capitancito in the Dominican Republic as well, who's yeah. a really, really strong meat gunner. Um, you know what? Like, shout outs to Latin America in general, just just for MSM online. But it's definitely like, one of the regions and like countries altogether. Like whether you're from Central America, South America, just in general, like it's Ooh. a strong. It's it's really, really strong to the point that like a lot of people sleep on it, and you know, a lot of parts of just south america central america and even the caribbean have a really difficult time traveling because of the expenses so and right there that's one thing if you guys aren't familiar and again nobody really winds up spending a lot of time playing it's me gunners for the most part uh you have to be careful about gunner up smash because it actually scoops that's yeah. what alan just got caught by and it hits behind him <laughs> right there yeah very so similar far. to samus but the thing is it's shorter it, so it it'll definitely works. yeah it works <laughs> <laughs> Samus doesn't work as well because she's tall, but me gonna fix that be literally because of the height difference. Yep. Nice. It's rising down in here. Alan just firmly in control and the short hop to follow up out of grab. Alan has made an art out of that where he's just like, all right, I'm going to set you down. You're obviously going to mash something. I'm going to read it and punish you for it. He's desperately trying to get in. Elijah been just playing defense enough to get the explosive side be there to send Alanis full back. Do you see the knock up knockback on those missiles? Uh, just the side B missile itself sends Snake, a very heavy character, halfway across the stage. And that's like, all right, do this all over again. Oh and man, that was end. that was good too. You see him actually go for the magnet heal just to stop the actual C4 if Alan just was gonna try to get rid of it on the way back to the stage from the angel platform. Wow, that is so strong. It is some crazy knockback. I feel like the me gunner has the like Loki has the better versions of like a lot of characters specials right what a wonderful c4 deployment there by alan this lightman was not keeping track of where that explosive was on the platform and suffered for it but again this defensive game plan from elijah min seems to be giving alan this fits while it is a relatively close game it feels that elijah min has been setting the pace the entire time you just see how desperate Alan Diss is to get in, and he just can't seem to do so consistently. 
firecrackers, side bees, just explosions everywhere. And for once, it's actually not Snake doing most of it. Oh, again, catching the get up attack with a fair but no follow up. And Elijah Men now pushing and punishing that mistake. Why do they give Gutter Clouds Nair? <laughs> I don't know. They give Ridley. They give Ridley Smash War Cloud Nair. They gave Gunner like a mini <laughs> version of Cloud least, Nair. Ridley is huge and light. And again, second verse, third verse, same as the first. Big stooping up smash on Elijah Min. Uh, take it. Game number one. Going to that the was, And that was so strong, too, because essentially Elijah Min used a lot of projectiles to force Snake to go into a roll or to have him evaluate options to try to take take center stage rather than to be at the left. And you can tell just a lot of the specials were flying at stake and stake literally felt so cornered. He plays pretty solidly from the corner, but for Alan Dis to have to consistently battle those options, he had nowhere else to try to fight for his center stage and the yeah. and pretty much forced that out. Yeah, Alan Dis is gonna be taking himself for not capitalizing more on some of these two opportunities. Thank you again, Moobot for uh chilling myself and Vance on commentary and thank you all very much for tuning in here for game number two sometimes Mubai you know be muting people in the chat but sometimes Mubai is a really good friend so shout out to Mubai for this one today uh nonetheless oh, what Elijah a Min. sequence here from Alan Diss to start things off did you see that yeah that was so smooth put 50 cents on Elijah's Elijah Men like nothing hey strides thank you so much <laughs> Oh, what a grab there by Alan Dis, and again going immediately for the um, Nikita. The funny thing about me Gunner is like, to what Hydrosity is saying is, me Gunner feels like a meme pick, but in my opinion, <laughs> me Gunner is an off-meta pick. This is a character that has been written off the meta so many times that I just tell people this character is either very hit or miss. It, it hits really well or it misses very well. It all depends on the situations. But trust me, if somebody's picking, waking up early in the morning to pick up Me Gunner and get this far in bracket, best believe they're actually going to take a name. Yeah. Oh, big explosion there. Elijah Man winning that interaction. But right now, getting set down. And again, oof. Finally, just counting on the... the just a mystery there by Alan Dis in response and Elijah Man getting the F smash, forcing Alan Dis all the way across the stage. Tense right now as either player can is really one confirm away from clearing this first stock. And the Nikita, wow, Elijah Man <laughs> stared the missile in the face I'm and blew it so up. I'm so sorry, Jesus. That was a little, that's the of your moment number three there. That was literally like, all right, cool. Who's going to hit the up till first? Me or you? Never mind. I'll take the first step. <laughs> Finally, though, Alan Dis taking that stock here, even pace, man. I can tell you right now, Alan Dis is definitely know what the shoe on the other foot feels like, because this is a giant war of attrition. This is looking like a Michael Bay movie. Explosions yeah, yeah. flying everywhere. There's very little plot. Did you name it, man? <laughs> this this it's, film. You it's ever, gaudy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you ever see that movie Armageddon? Things just explode for no other reason. They don't we, make we, sense. We need, Fans, we need more lens flares at night. Yeah, we do need these more lens flares. <laughs> now look at that. Alan, this is like, okay, fine, just keep blowing up stuff. And Elijah Min's like, cool, I'm I'm more than content to just keep throwing throwing out options, keep hitting this B button, and you, you gotta stop me. But right now, Alan Dis in control. Woo! Nikita. Bullseye, yeah. I used to, I used to always call the Nikita enemy chaser. Just years and years <laughs> of playing Metal Slug. I know what this means, man. <laughs> All right, well, Alan, this with the lead so far. I mean, honestly, the one thing for him against Elijah Man, and that's the one thing where me, this particular build of Meek Gunner suffers, is the recovery factor. That's why yeah. we see Elijah Man use those options to cover him on the way back to the stage or to the ledge. But Alan, this knows like Nikita will take care of a lot of those poor recovery options, and it's really good at that. So for Alan, this to just keep using Nikita off stage, it works out so well. This time he sends it up and he covers the neutral ground, but that napalm oh, on the way perfect. back, so perfect. Oh. That and then Nikita oh, will execute on that so well. Like I said, man, the weakness has been found, and Alan Disc will take advantage of that one. That was such an expert setup. The the first Nikita with the cancel, so it would drop, and you would basically um, that would like pro that prompted Elijah to get up from ledge, but just in time for the up smash to still get sent. So that round hit, and then Alan Disc was like, "All right, cool, you popped up there." Blat, there's Nikita. 
Got to drop him. Take game number two. Question for oh, everybody in the chat. For you, for to answer for everyone in the chat in general, for me, has there ever been a time where you have never had a fro? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people with straight hair that would that would not have fros. So your hair is straight naturally, like? No, no, no. There's a lot of people that would. Are, wait, are you asking me? If yeah, I've never had a, that's yeah. what you meant. I thought you were, I thought you were asking chat. Like chat, have every single one of you never had a fro? Like, well, yeah. There's a lot of people with straight hair that can't grow it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, when I was when I was a lot when I was much younger, I didn't. And then my sister in high told me when I was in high school, like, why don't you just throw your hair out? And I was like, oh yeah, I'll just do that. So it's been like that for over ten years for the most part. Okay, I've always I just wanted to know. Like, <laughs> there's the answer, man. I gave you the <laughs> answer. And hopefully, right now, Elijah Mins did figure out an answer to Alan Dis's press here in game number three. We're going to Kalos for the first time. That's not a sight you see on the West Coast that much, right, Vance? But this is not a sight you see. I don't know. This is a stage that West Coast does pick for very niche options. And I feel like West Coast as a whole does forget the stage unless you're like yes. specific players in general. There is. That's the funniest thing about it. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, I thought Alan Dish was going to keep, keep that one going right there. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, Alan Dish was going for meta view moment number four at this game, at that gameplay here. But I, that's the one thing we're seeing from Alan Dish. He's being a little bit more aggressive with a snake play, and I love that MP Hop to read the role there. And once again, oh. the Nikita covers that really poor option coming out from from Elijah Min. But like I yeah. said, this particular build of Knee Gunner will suffer to that Nikita. And there just wasn't strong enough to deal with the Nikita hitbox. And now... Here's the problem with Elijah Min's setup, which is that the most maximal output for that particular me gunner load is to corner yourself and let your opponent struggle to get to you. And all Aldis needs to do is let Elijah Min corner himself and just send him off stage because he's got Nikita. So this is really bad for Elijah Min. He needs to <laughs> figure out some way to take the stock quickly. Big back here though, this might be it. The other thing is, interestingly enough, I feel like the um, the grenade launcher, like the angled one, really hasn't done yeah, a lot of heavy lifting for Elijah in any one of the three games. Oh, we're sticking him! Woo! <laughs> that was so lightning quick, man. Did you see that? I literally blinked and I missed it, and next thing I know, he was out of the stage with a C4 explosion in his hands. Oh, that was lightning quick from Alan Dis, who's not... He's basically just like, I am getting to winner's finals, man. You are not stopping me. Not yeah. with this me gunner loadout. Not with these firecrackers that are just not doing enough. Oh, he finally got hit by one. Never mind. Elijah Min pushing and trying to take more stage control now. And he manages to nail. Again, Snake sometimes has issues landing. And say Elijah Min just calling him out with a big F smash there. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. unfortunate. Oh, that was finally the strongest read from Elijah Min. Elijah Min has been doing that all set long so far. Just going for that heal initially to stop the C4 because Snake usually wants to reset that C4 when they yeah. come back from the Angel platform. Particularly, I'm glad that Vabu mentioned that how I said it earlier. This is a rough matchup for Shulk, specifically. Shulk. And I, yeah, Nico has explained it to me countless times why it's so bad. And that's why we're seeing Elijah Min on the Me Gunner. And honestly, sometimes the Woo! best way to play game Woo! is sometimes the best way to win the game is play lame. But here for Alan oh. Disman, what a call <laughs> on that jump. Up till this so monstrously strong that even just like, like a, just a normal, like kind of like res neutral response there, like landing there, it was just like, uh, that's not just a trade. That's <laughs> that's what you call like a stock market trade loss, man. You like invested in something that you thought was going to work that seems to have worked countless numbers of times. And then big old solid snake being like, here's a compound interest, buddy. You got to pay up. <laughs> the, the, the stock market game is very hit or miss ladies and gentlemen please invest yeah. at your own discretion <laughs> uh, only invest what you're willing to lose 2G, essentially yeah, 2gg would like to issue a uh a particular <laughs> a state, uh, actually uh, uh jmex co-founder of 2g gaming is a very very ample investor in the stock market so if you ever want to Ask him whenever you guys see him offline how to properly invest. I'm glad he'd be, he would be more than happy to explain some things about investing. My advice to anybody who's investing in the stock market, real talk, always do your homework and your due diligence. Invest in what you know is going to be good. If you just invest and just 
boo boo company you think might be good just because they're obscure because you know you thought obscure things go higher no do your due diligence just and due diligence and invest properly uh but nonetheless here we'll see who invested in alan this winning on this one here because he's up 2-1 against elijah man <laughs> yeah we're going to smash fellas the polar opposite of talos um stage where either character can pretty much zone and take full control double back air from alandis get back into stage managed to hit the drop down uh down air like basically Firmly taking control. Alan is taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, we almost got the, the key to catch Elijah Min's escape up to ledge, but I know, Vance. Right now, it just feels very much like Alan. This is game to lose. What do you think? Yeah, this is Alan. This is game to lose. The way that Elijah Min is picking a smaller stage, giving Snake less space to move around here. The one thing that we did see from Alan this last game is to slowly turn up the Jets here and play a little bit more aggressive. As so, he just did not waste time to get in this man's face. He said, "Let me hit him with their one," and then hit him with a quick tilt. Afterwards, that's all my stuff. But also, Alanis is slowly taking pages and like, all right, cool. He wants to spam these projectiles, these missiles. I can low profile him. And that literally moving our hurt box is such a prominent thing in Ultimate that I'm glad Alan just wow. opt for that low profile against missile. And that's what's forcing Elijah Min to constantly pick out this option that he's going for with the specials. Yeah, Alanis has to be careful about his landing, especially when it's go high vertical with uh, Cypher, because Elijah Min was actually getting a lot off of just counting on that. Oh, nice escape by Elijah, man. Now I got full stage control. What a catch. Oh, he we went out deep! <laughs> No, that, just that, going that, is, that is the next meta view moment. That is actually the next meta view moment. Elijah Min stood on that angel platform, and I he was, was like, this is... <laughs> I was holding my breath because the next thing I was going to say is, man, Elijah Min, Elijah Min using these B buttons to actually oh change his, his air drift. And instead, Alan Ness was like, bingo. This he, is my moment to go out deep with the snake. He had Elijah Min wait on that angel platform like, damn, bro, he really went out there for me. Oof. All right, this is still Wearside stock here for Elijah, man. He's got to push back and figure out some way to just completely dominate Alandus enough in order to take the stock and be able to play his game again. Here we go. This might be an opportunity here. Can he get some kind of gimp? Nope, not quite. Alandus did able to escape right back to stage. Oh, He's this is the ultimate again. shield pressure. This is the, yeah, that we was really good. We waited it out, too! So good by Alan Dis. Alan Dis like is taking it. all the control here against Elijah Min. Up smash will definitely not kill yeah. there, but I do like how Elijah Min immediately tries to counter any of those projectiles or explosions from Alan Dis, trying to get a quick little heal here. That's a back throw for stage positioning here, and you can tell that Elijah Min wants to stop Alan Dis, but he just lands with no fear with this up tilt. Uh oh. Can Alan Elijah Min land? He does. He Oh, he was just misspaced the up smash. Big grab, jump up, jab. Oh, another whiff, and he's just gonna hammer it home. Big F to a big F smash there from Alan Dis. Raftel, that's gonna do it. Alan Dis moves.